All right, Sunday morning, the 30th of December, and just coming up to 11 o'clock, and we started without you. We're uh, actually doing a little bit of shimming on the body tub and uh, doing some fasteners up, which is affecting the uh, door gap. We're just uh, working on this uh, rear door gap, and uh, you can see it's uh, looking pretty good at the moment. And that's just from doing some shimming here on the rear and tightening this uh, front body mount down. And you can probably watch the gap probably increase slightly. See it moving a little bit as he tightens that front body mount down. Looking pretty good. Yeah, looking very good. See, it's just that easy. All you have to do is tighten a few bolts down and everything lines up perfectly. Anyway, we're back working on the, uh, the, the red fenders as we're calling this is part two. So uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start working on uh, probably trying to fit the bottom of that fender uh, a little bit better. And then we're also going to try to get the, uh, I know yesterday I was calling it a Surrey top, but uh, and nobody's corrected me yet, which is good on my video. And I actually meant to put a subtitle and it's not actually called a Surrey top, that piece. That's the backlight. So that's not the Surrey part, that's the backlight. So we're uh, going to get the backlight to fit a little bit better. And uh, if we progress along fairly quickly, we're going to try to work on this fender stick out of the back. Anyway, oh wait, i got to look at the gaps again. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, looking good. What are you doing up there? Oh my God. I was just going to say, that seems to be an awfully long bolt. Are you spinning my whole stud up yeah. there? No, that looks good. Anyway, okay, we'll leave you there and we'll come back in a bit. Okay, I say we got this gap looking pretty good top and bottom now. We've just uh, adjusted the door a little bit. We dropped the door down a little bit, which helped us with our gap at the front here. This was a little tight up here. Now we've dropped it. It's increased this gap up the front, which is perfect because we needed a little bit of uh, clearance in the pocket up here. So that's helped us out there. We've got good clearance here now when the door opens, so that's looking good. So yeah, so that's uh, that's a positive. We've got uh, one little shim under the uh, bottom here, and we've just got the uh, the fronts clamped down onto the frame, so that's helped us out significantly. We're also looking pretty good on the uh, the driver's side. Um, the driver's fender needs to be uh, clamped down the bottom, but it looks pretty good gap-wise as well. It'll pull back actually in place, and uh, you can see there. So that'll pull back in place. We should have a good gap on this side as well. We haven't even really played around with this door fitment at all either. So uh, we could even move that back to tighten it up probably a little bit if we wanted to, but I think that's not bad. It's better than it was. So uh, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to work on uh, cutting the bottom of this fender and re-welding that just to make it fit to that sill a little bit better. That's the uh, uh, I know it's not the correct way to do it, but we definitely don't want to have to take the whole sill out and uh, and put it back in. I don't think that's going to really help us because we know the A-post is uh, sort of screwed up. We have to really go back and reconstruct this from, you know, ground zero to be able to fix this properly. So we're just going to make it work with what we've got. Um, the only known good panel we have is the red fender. And now we're going to screw it up. <laughs> we're going to screw it up. Yes, so, uh, this is correct, but yeah. the seal was installed based yeah. on the old fender, which was a quarter inch shorter than this one for some reason. And the B-post angle was all screwed up and that kind of thing. It's all really bodged and patched on the inside. So anyway, we're getting there. That gap's good. That gap's good. We'll fix this sill fitment on the bottom. The sill fitment on the front fender is not bad. Uh, we can probably live with that with a little bit of body work. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, you have a... Yeah, I think we're okay there. So uh, really it's just this area here that we need to fix and then of course we talked about the stick out at the uh, tail light pocket that we'll fix after. I think that one should be a fairly easy fix but never say that until you actually get there, right? <laughs> yeah. We might open another can of worms as we say. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and we'll uh, probably take that fender off and we'll cut it where we've marked it and uh, we'll come back when we uh, get it looking a little bit better. Wish us luck. Can't believe I'm cutting my red fenders. I said I wasn't going to cut the red fenders. <laughs> Anyway, we, we got to do what we got to do. All right. Technically, I said I wasn't going to cut the red fenders, right? So and that means you have to cut the red fender. You're going to be the yeah, you're the bad guy in all this. Uh, you have to no, I'm not screw it up, but you got to make the first cut. 
All right. All right, so the fender's cut. This is how much we've uh, taken out of it. So we're just going to tape it back together and uh, be done with it. We've got the, uh, the green tape. We don't think that'll stand out too much. So that's the, that's the plan anyway. We'll just, we'll just tack it there and be done with it. Anyway, okay, so that's done. There's a, can't go back now. So uh, we'll line this up best we can. So I think it's going to probably work out not too bad. We'll just probably grind this a little on this edge. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. We'll uh, bring it over to the uh, passenger side. We'll fit it up and uh, we'll tack it up as required. This is how we're fixing the car. Yeah. yeah. You want a bigger hammer? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just after uh, 12 noon, and here's where we're at. So, as you can see, we've got the uh, bottom of the fender tacked on. We have the bottom fastener in, we have the top fastener in. The uh, door gap looks good. Uh, we're still a little bit concerned about the gap between the, uh, the sill and the fender, and that's primarily because the sill is in the wrong place. You can also see the, a gap at the front here as well. So what we're thinking of doing now is we're thinking of modifying the sill by doing a cut along the top on the inside and along the sides and that'll allow us to pull that sill out to meet the uh, contour of the fender. So I think that's what we're going to do next. I, I don't think you'll be able to see that repair once we're done with it and uh, once it's ground down it's going to make that sill a little bit wider if we cut it along the top here but uh, I don't think it's going to be noticeable so I think that's uh, well, that's the, the, the best of two evils, I guess, you yeah, can put it. Not, so, not the right uh, thing, but it's the I definitely can't live with the sill that looks like that. Um, so it's either that and a ton of Bondo or fiberglass filler, which I don't want to do, or it's actually play with the metal a little bit and uh, bring that down to meet the fender. The fender, I think, looks pretty good now. Um, after shortening it, I think it's going to be okay, and we've got it fitting at the top where it needs to be. So it's, like I said, it's sort of a giant puzzle. It's kind of coming together, but uh, everything we do kind of affects uh, another area. So anyway, we'll, I think we'll uh, ponder on our little stools here uh, a little bit longer about cutting this, but I think that's the uh, direction forward for us. Um, so we'll bring it back when we decide what we're gonna do. So we came to a pretty quick decision. It's only 12.11. So we didn't ponder along this very long. It's actually well past beer time too, I think, but. Whoa. Yeah, it's like 12, 11 and you haven't had a beer yet. Um, so we're going to do the cut along here and we're going to drop that down. So we're just saying, well, you know, that means that the fender has to come off, the door has to come off, the front fender has to come off, then it has to go back on for uh, fitment and then it has to come back off to weld it. So it's a long uh, day of putting panels on and off. So if you think it's easy, it isn't. Okay, here's a quick uh, look of the cut we just made. And we just got a couple of uh, set screws in here for spacers. Well, you can see where we've cut it along the, uh, the sides here, along the top, and uh, dropped it down. So we're just going to uh, fit the fenders back up and see how we do. And we'll play around with it and we'll come back once we get it looking hopefully better. <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks good already. All right, we'll be back. Well, I'd say we're making uh, pretty good progress. I don't think it's ever looked better, personally. So that looks pretty darn good down the bottom. The gaps are good on the front and at the rear. Looks like really good. The uh, fender fitment at the bottom is pretty good. It's as good as we're gonna get it anyway. And uh, obviously the front looks better too. So we've just got it still open here. And you can see how much of that we had to drop down. So we'll have to uh, put a piece of metal in there. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Alin doesn't like this little spot here, but you know what? I think it looks 100% better than it did. So. I think we're going to have to be happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think it's uh, time for lunch and time for a beer. Time for a beer. Okay, <laughs> let's go in. So just a quick uh, after lunch update. Uh, so we've now got this strip tacked in the bottom here to close this uh, piece in and it's looking very good I think much much better than it ever was even I'm happy with this yeah. no? maybe even better from the factory <laughs> <laughs> better than the factory let's say all right so we're going to move on to a uh, another area we're doing okay for time it's only 2:30 by yesterday I think we probably only made our first tack yeah. <laughs> so we're ahead of the game today we're flying Anyway, so uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do next and I'll bring you back. Okay, quick update for you. We've got the uh, driver's side fitting pretty good now. So it looks, needs a little body work down in the bottom corner here on the rear of the sill. But it's actually much, much better than it was. The gaps are pretty good here. Not bad here. It needs a little bit more work. I think I can slide the bottom of that front fender back a little bit, but uh, Elaine doesn't think so. But... Uh, we still have the fender stick outs to contend with at the rear, not bad, but uh, this one's a little worse than the other one. It's fairly close to lining up, but we're going to just probably make a cut here and pull this back. And this one is actually pretty darn good. Actually, actually that's almost non-modifiable. We could almost live with that, but we'll see. Well, maybe, maybe slight. Can you pull out the lights from somewhere? No. <laughs> <laughs> Out of your sleeve. Anyway, yeah, I gotta find the lights to be able to uh, figure if that covers that up or not. Anyway, so we're gonna work on those uh, tail light areas, and then I think the last thing we're gonna do today is probably have a look at the Surrey top and, or sorry, the backlight. <laughs> Can't call it a Surrey top, the backlight, and uh, we'll figure out if we can get that to fit a little bit better. So, yeah, it's kind of, it's taken shape. It's definitely looking better, and. Uh, I can say that the, the red, fenders, red fenders are pretty much now fitted. Again, we'll play around at the back here a little bit, but for the most part, I think they're looking pretty good. They're looking a lot better than those nasty things over there against the wall. And they'll save me a whole ton of body work. So, you can go in my artwork now. Yeah, he's going to go in his wall art. What not to do to put fenders on the TR-250. All right, so uh, we said we are going to work on the... Um, the tail light pocket so I've just pulled the uh, the old tail lights out so we can uh, see what the <laughs> stuff falling all over the place anyway we'll see what uh, covers what and uh, okay, we'll go so from we're there. working on the uh, driver's side tail light and we figured the best course of action to uh, figure this out it's not as easy as you know cutting this and just extending it back it's actually two uh, layers of metal in this pocket so what we've decided to do is to make something like this, just a little filler piece. I don't know if you can get the idea of that. Just a little filler piece, and we'll weld that in and grind that down and should be good as new. And that will match along the top, if you can see that. You want to hold that there? So it's going to look something, something like that. And obviously, we'll have to shape it a little bit better, but that's what we're going for. So anyway, that's the, uh, the fix for this. Got to do what you got to do. Okay, so here's where we're at uh, as far as fixing that uh, fender stick out. So we've just tack welded that little piece in there. And as you can see, that's going to work, I think, for us once we uh, finish weld it and clean it up a little bit and do a little bit of body work. I think we'll be okay in this area. It's better than uh, what it was. And here it is from the top and around the outside. So I think that's going to be okay. We're going to get a new tail light uh, for this because these are pretty much shot. but. Uh, yeah, I think once that's uh, welded fully and uh, ground down, I think we'll probably be okay in the end. Obviously much better than it was, so that's our goal. Okay, just coming up to uh, 5 p.m., just after 5 p.m., and I think we're going to call it a day. We've been out here all day pretty much, and uh, Ellen's son Nick's been inside uh, playing PlayStation all day, and he's probably getting tired of that, I'm sure, right? Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> Sitting on the couch playing PlayStation and eating cookies <laughs> all day. So, uh, yeah, so we managed to get, uh, we're going to stop at that um, passenger side uh, tail light and I'm going to endeavor to work on this one uh, by myself at some point in time. And uh, I'll finish weld that up there. And of course, I got a lot of welding to do here to keep me busy. I got to weld all this, weld inside. You still got to repair on the inside of here, on the inside of here. So I've still got quite a bit of welding to do and I've got to obviously finish weld 
um, all this along the bottom sill where we made that repair. The fender, I got, you left me with a lot of welding here. <laughs> and there's some strips I need to weld in ahead of where the fenders are, so the, obviously the fenders will have to come back off as well at some point. So that should keep me busy for a little while at least, right? But it's looking good, it's looking so much better. Uh, oddly enough, I think the, the passenger side looks better than the driver's side now, <laughs> if you can believe that. And that was definitely the, uh, the worst side. So yeah, I think that looks good. So we'll call it a day and uh, call it a, a successful day. So thanks very much. And we will uh, see you later on. Thanks for watching.